Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I have a very awesome uh, Jurassic World Coaster, aka Velocicoaster construction update here from Universal Orlando's Islands of Adventure. From two sources here, first a few pictures are from Park Journey, and the rest are from the awesome, awesome Bio Reconstruct that usually um, that I usually to get the photos from from for our Jurassic World or Velocicoaster updates. So, look, these photos are from today from Park Germany, Park Journey. So, a beautiful view of Hogwarts to the right and a top hat. Look at that new addition to the skyline. The top hat has finally been installed. It's the last piece of track to be installed in the highest point of the Velocicoaster here. Still lots of crane activity. Um, there's a lot of rock work going on, which we'll see, and uh, lots of uh, theming going on, which we'll see later on in this um, construction update. But definitely want to start off with that top hat element and how the, the it's highest point of the ride. I'm not sure how tall. If someone knows, comment your thoughts below or comment the height below, the official height below. I'm not sure what the official height of the Lost Coaster is, but. Um, it's awesome to finally see that top hat finally installed, and I cannot wait till this thing starts testing in a few months. It looks really, really awesome. Um, here's just an overhead shot of the whole thing. It's kind of hard to see because it's pretty high up. These are the shots from Bio Reconstruct, and um, it's uh, the whole site. You can see it's still very active, and especially that tight corner, the corner in between the, above the launch and the station, that kind of corner by the Discovery Center. It's a very compact corner, and there's a lot of stuff going on. The versions, rock work, going in, go, you'll be going in and out of rock work. It'll be looking really cool. And here's some um, some uh, close look at this. Um, I'm pretty sure that concrete area is the maintenance bay. The 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 finished concrete, the one that's uh, above that, the larger one. I think that's the station box. And then there's the launch, the very the concrete pillars below all that, all the track is the launch into the top hat. That's the lowest point of the ride. You go from the lowest point to the highest point in like 10 seconds of the ride. It's pretty crazy. Um, and here's, again, there you see a, there's a curved area. I think that that's definitely the station. I'm not sure if that's track or where guests will be walking that curved metal area right by the Discovery Center con connecting that smaller building to the uh, larger building. Not sure. That's where the coaster or guests will be going. I think it's maybe where the coaster will be going. A potential show scene there before it races into that top hat element. Looking a bit closer, you see some pieces of track are, are still installed but are still covered up in that white sheet. Um, I'm not sure why they did that. I think they I think it's just to make sure it cures. I, I'm not entirely sure. But the white sheet should be coming out shortly, or maybe some, maybe because the breeze are working, they're working that area, so maybe they don't want like debris in the track to get dirty. I'm not entirely sure, but you see a lot of steel right there, and that's all for rock work. Rock work will be definitely coming into the area, that whole area, and we'll see a little bit cl closer ground up shots uh, later on in this video. Here's another look at that top hat segment. Um, from a slightly different angle, it actually looks more vertical this way. It looks a little bit scarier, in my opinion, um, or or more thrilling, depending on if you like that stuff. But looks definitely a little bit more intense from this angle. Um, uh, that straight up, straight up, straight up, straight down version. I don't think there's an official speed listed for this attraction yet. I'd say about maybe at least 70 something miles per hour. Here's a look at that inside again. Um, there's a lot, again, lots of stuff going on. There's at least two uh, half loops, lots of inversions. It's a very small space to be uh, going in. This is the last part of the ride after you've come from being the, in the link in the, in the lake. And actually, to the right, you see the, um, not to the right anymore, but you saw the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World like watchtower as you'll be inside the raptor paddock. This entire segment is being you're being chased by raptors inside the raptor paddock and that's exactly what is going on here. And there's rumors according to Alicia Stella from Orlando Park Stop that you'll be um 
you'll encounter six animatronic raptors in the ride, including at the end of the ride when one of them is chasing you to the station and leading you right into another raptor, which is actually really cool. I cannot wait to see if that room is true and if it will be, um, if, uh, what that will look like. More stuff here. You can see lots of steel rockwork, steel mesh. Um, here's that closer look of that rockwork. Those, those very, those polling things, those, the, um, the, the, the lighter steel, that's where, again, we're going to be weave, weaving in and out of rock work. And in the, the later on pictures here, you'll see um, some rock work, some small rock work actually finished and some construction workers working on that. But this is going to be a really crazy ride. Kind of, this is the part where it seems like most like Terran. And here's that rock work they're finishing right now. It's matching that rock work of the Jurassic Park River Adventure. It's just like a, it's the same rock work that's on the other side of the rockway, but just darker and grayer, more that Jurassic World version of the rock work. Even it looks like the supports, I just noticed, are covered up on those massive footers there. Uh, maybe because they're painting and spray painting rock work, they don't want it to get on the track. That's the only possible explanation I can think of there. But, yeah, this section of the ride will definitely be very Terran like, as you can see. Here's that again. Just look, look how small that section is. All this, all this track work and all these loops and versions and all that cool stuff happening just in like that tiny square of the track. Very Terran like, as when, especially when a lot of rock work comes up. And I expect the electric fences to be installed because they'll be in everything from that small building. Uh, that whole area is a raptor paddock and perhaps they'll be chasing you and you'll be trying to, I guess, escape the raptor paddock um, during that launch segment. So it, that would be super cool. What do you guys think of this Jurassic Park coaster? It's going to be opening again in presumably the summer of, spring or summer of 2021. Um, I honestly say at this week, potentially, at this rate, potentially late spring. Um, it's going to be super, super cool. I can't wait to see it all finished and testing and get to see a POV of this thing later on. But what do you guys think? Subscribe for more Jurassic or Velocicoaster updates and uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment your thoughts on your thoughts on this coaster below. As always, have a fantastic day.